Hi and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the Oklahoma City Tourism Information Center. This is a great place to stop off when you're on a road trip, but this time of year something extra special might just bring you in the door. Every year, the weekend after Thanksgiving, the Tourism Information Centers offer a special discount to holiday shoppers. All of the affordable items you see here will be offered at 25% off. We'll tell you exactly how you can get it a little later in the show. But first, say the words Turner Falls and most people think of this incredible summer swimming destination. But you owe it to yourself to head there during the fall or winter months to see all that they have to offer. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy shows us why. This is beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. My fiance is, he works for Halliburton. And um, so I thought I'd explore and see what is around. And this is tremendous. I wish I would have known about this sooner. This is phenomenal. Usually our temperatures are not that bad. And uh, uh, bands of crowds have gone. We have more deer and turkey to be seen in the park. And we actually put out a little food farm to come. And it, you know, it gives our guests something else to look at, enjoy the, just the nature. And it's basically just, uh, just a great getaway for a weekend or for the day just to be out in nature and, 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 and enjoy everything. The castle was built by Dr. Collins, who was a professor at uh, OU at Norman, and uh, he built it in the 1930s as he owned part of the, uh, owned a small ranch back in there, and uh, he built it as a guest house and then for him a weekend getaway. There's actually two back there, but one of them, about all that's left is the walls to it. Uh, if the, the second one down, down along the creek there is the, the one that uh, most people go into because all the rooms and everything, the roof's still on it, and it, it's the nicest one of the two. The architecture was built like uh, castles and, and everything over in, uh, in Europe. They, they'd done a lot of work there and uh, uh, they just went to great detail on some of the things they put in there, you know, the way they designed the castle. It's just part of the, uh, part of the park and it's been here so long and uh, there's just a lot of people, uh, you know, they come for everything but, but most of them do want to see the castle just because it's so unique. It, there's just nothing else like it that I know of. Just the architecture and the way it was designed, I, you know, there's not anything else just exactly like it around here anywhere. We have hiking trails and uh, then the castles to visit and this camping and uh, October, late October, November is a wonderful time to be out here. Uh, crowds are small and it's, it's just beautiful out in this area, especially when the leaves go to changing. And then along in uh, mid to late November, we'll stock part of the creek with trout, and we offer trout fishing here, and we have quite a few people come down to, do, to enjoy that. Turner Falls is just off I-35 in Davis. They're open year-round. Admission is lower October through April. You can find out more on their website, turnerfallspark.com. And now from cool views to cultural exhibits, there's so much to see at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Absolutely. In fact, their new Victorian Radicals exhibit is only here for a short amount of time. Here's a peek on why you need to plan to see it. Art is such a little word and sometimes hard to pin down. It has many definitions, but most commonly art can be inspiring, elusive, educational, and powerful. Artists in all the variety and diversity of forms are many times at the frontier of social, political, and technological change. And that's what I found so fascinating about the new exhibit called Victorian Radicals, from the pre-Raphaelites to the arts and crafts movement, because this exhibit is about the way artists responded to the industrial world in the 19th century. And this theme of the exhibition is how artists essentially tried to make the world better by making beautiful objects, and sometimes tried to show the terrible things that were happening in industrial cities, uh, the, the poverty, some of these social issues, but then uh, led a way out of it by making beautiful objects. The paintings come from the industrial city in England called Birmingham. Essentially, the artists decided to break all the rules. They were taught a certain thing in art school. You should use dark colors. You should look like old masters. You should look like Rembrandt, something from the past. And they just threw all that out. And they used the brightest, the most fresh, the most vivid colors. Their teachers were horrified to see bright purple, bright green, bright yellow. But if there's yellow out there in the world, these artists used 
yellow on the canvas, brightest one you could find. The exhibition takes things one step further as they have moved way beyond the usual fine art collections of paintings, sculptures, drawings, and prints. So we have beautiful examples of those flat, essentially flat things. They're amazing. But we wanted to show the materiality of the Victorian world, so we included textiles, we included ceramics, uh, we included uh, some examples of clocks, wonderful little mach tiny machines of great precision, um, and what we wanted to show, metalwork, um, all the different kinds of objects that could be made. And our Victorian radicals were horrified by what they saw coming out of the factories at the time. These artists said, just hang on a minute. You should make things slowly and by hand. Use natural colors, make it beautiful, and turn away from a sort of mass production. So they were radical. In a way, it seems old-fashioned to go back to the past. But of course, if you go back to the past and find what's really special, you can invent a new future. You can design a new future. The exhibition includes the works of such artists as Dante Gabriel Rossetti and John Everett Millay. Now this is a piece called The Blind Girl by Millay. The Oakland City Museum of Art is the first location of the national tour of Victorian radicals. We're thrilled to start the exhibition here. You guys get to see it first. And I have to say, uh, the installation in these galleries is so beautiful that you've set a very high standard for all the others to live up to. And this exhibition produces a rewarding perceptual experience. You'll see carpets stained glass, and it will certainly make you think about what art is and what it can be. It will make you wonder about those Victorians. So I hope people will come out feeling that the Victorian period, it may be 170 years ago, but actually it feels like today. The Oklahoma City Museum of Art is located at 415 Couch Drive. They're open seven days a week except major holidays. The Victorian Radicals exhibit is on display through January 6th. Find out more on their website, okcmoa.com. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. I have seen so many people, so many people's soul heal from sewing. Beautiful creations that may just take your mind off your troubles. If you come once, you're probably going to come back. Plus, wait until you see what has folks coming back for more at this Tulsa hotspot. Cat studio, pillows and things like that. We're at $30, $40, $50 cheaper than anywhere else you're going to find them in Oklahoma. And the secret location you've got to shop for everyone on your holiday list this year. It's all coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Create your ultimate Oklahoma bucket list with this year's free Oklahoma travel guide. Discover captivating culture, heart-pounding adventure, ultimate relaxation. This bucket list can't be missed. Order yours free today at TravelOK.com. The Oklahoma Department of Agritourism salutes all pine products in Yukon. Pick the perfect Christmas tree right here. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the Oklahoma City Tourism Information Center, a great pit stop for anyone on the road with something special for holiday shoppers too. And we will fill you in on that holiday special in just a bit, but first here is a handmade idea for gift giving. Prairie Quilt in Hennessy has everything you'd ever need to get started in the art of quilting. Quilting is an art form that allows you to create keepsakes that help to celebrate and remember special times. And at Prairie Quilt in Hennessy, they can help you do just that. I have seen so many people, so many people's soul heal from sewing. If they have had a tragedy or uh, something sad in their lives, they come here to be healed. They also come for celebration because if there is a baby born, there's nothing more exciting to them than to be able to make a quilt for that new little grandchild and pass on their love. Randa Parrish never dreamed that her sewing shop would grow to be the largest quilt shop in Oklahoma. And I've always loved sewing and it's a passion for me. So that's how I started out was just to have a little sewing shop, just a little store. And it just grew to 25 employees. <laughs> Prairie Quilt is a massive building housing fabric, sewing machines, sewing tools, and anything you could need to help you make your handmade creation. We have uh, the most fabric, that's what most people uh, talk about when they think of a large quilt shop. Depends on the time of the year, because we do have seasons, uh, uh, seasonal, uh, but anywhere from 5,000 to 8,000 volts. 
but they're all fresh. And that's the difference between other people, is that we don't keep old fabric. Once it is 18 months old, it's out of here. They also have some of the very best sewing machines you can find. We have a lot of great sewing machines. We've carefully chosen what brands that we want, that we decided to carry. And one of them is Brother and the other one is Swap. And we do think that they are the best in the industry. We want to be on the cutting edge, not only of technology of sewing machines, but also of fabric. Don't worry if you're a novice seamstress. Prairie Quilt has knowledgeable staff to help you get started off on the right stitch. When they come, they don't have somebody who is a clerk who just knows how to cut one yard of fabric. They have somebody who can really help them with their sewing, uh, answer their questions, uh, and really treat them like they just came home. You can also come to Prairie Quilt for classes to hear from some of the sewing industry's best and to learn new techniques in their retreat center. Where we have big name speakers come and we do a lot of our education. We do classes all the time, and our staff teaches too, but we bring in probably more name people than most people do. Visit Prairie Quilt for anything you need to create a handmade, heartfelt keepsake for you or your loved ones. When you give someone a quilt, you're really passing on your DNA. There's something of you in there. There's part of you in a quilt. Prairie Quilt is located at 101 South Main Street in Hennessy. They're open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, 10 to 4 on Saturday, and 1 to 4 on Sunday. Covering up with a handmade quilt sure sounds cozy. And if you're looking for a warm meal to go with it, well, Julie Chen has this place that you need to check out. It's time to go to the Rapongi Ramen. I think it's good to try new things. Restaurateur Libby Billings has been cooking up something new in Tulsa's Deco District for a decade. First, she opened a lote, then the vault, now there's Rapongi. We are Tulsa's only locally owned ramen bar and that we were the first ramen shop to open in Tulsa. Libby traveled to Japan to research this ramen restaurant. There, she perfected her Asian fusion recipes served here. This is not your like 33 cent ramen. We get freshly, our noodles are freshly made. We use organic meats. We are cooking everything from scratch here. So the broth, you know, takes 24 hours of simmering, etc. I've been over in Tokyo and Kyoto as wow. well, and I've had ramen there. And I was like, it's, it's, it's similar. It's really nice. Uh, the flavors really mix well together over here. You have all sorts of choices when it comes to your ramen at Rapongi. Proteins include traditional pork, chicken, steak, and tofu. I like the pork ramen, so it's a pork belly ramen that's actually right here, right now. Yeah. The warm noodle soup is one of many menu options. We also do two other things pretty well. One is banh mi, which is actually a Vietnamese kind of sub sandwich that I kind of say is like an Asian version of a fat filly because it's like got all this warm, you know, protein, whether it's meat or vegetarian, and then it's topped with like a slaw and it's just a big, delicious sandwich. And then we also have a stir fry that we call street noodles. And we use the same ramen noodle, but instead we stir fry it. And we have these two awesome sauces, a peanut and a soy ginger sauce that we saute all the vegetables and everything with, and it's really good. Steak skewers and spring rolls are a few other popular items along with numerous vegan and vegetarian options. Wash it all down with anything from sake to boba tea. The boba teas are a traditional like milk tea. So you take tea, like uh, we have a black coconut, we have a green lime tea, and you can basically shake those with milk and then a different flavor. So we have like a chai flavor, we have coffee flavor, we have strawberry, blackberry, etc. You shake that with milk and then you put these bobas, which are made from tapioca starch, and it's like a little tiny, almost like a pasta pearl. Um, and then you have a big fat boba straw and you drink the bobas through the boba straw and it's just like a sweet dessert almost. The restaurant is small with a fun and playful vibe. We found quite a few regulars like John Walker who eats here two to three times a week. Convenient location for me. I can get in, I can get out. Um, good healthy food options but also filling so that, that's why I like to come here. His favorite? My go-to is just vegetarian ramen. I get it every time. I don't venture out. Um, I like it, so I stick with it. If you're looking for a deal, Thursday nights are half-price ramen night. There are also half-portion combo meals priced under $10 to pick from daily. There's, of course, indoor dining space and a recently expanded outside patio, too. 
and you can't stop in here without snapping a selfie with the Rapongi Girl mural. One more thing, don't let downtown parking detour you from coming. The vault is on the same street as Rapongi, and we have 160 parking spots, so if you ever come, you're welcome to park at the vault, walk on over to Rapongi. you won't get in any trouble at all, so uh, both owned by me, so you're good to go there. <laughs> Rapongi, a tiny ramen restaurant, big on soup, service, and smiles. My staff is just amazing. They care so much about this place, and they just, they love it so much that it, you can really feel that whenever you're in here eating. Come once, you're probably gonna come back. In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Rapongi Ramen is at 601 South Boston in Tulsa. Their hours vary, so you'll wanna look that up before you make your trip. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Like today, when I'm in town, I, I come by and get a three-way chili. A Tulsa favorite and a must-stop spot for anyone passing through T-Town. We're trying to get as much Oklahoma-themed things in here, so don't come in here and ask us for Texas-themed stuff. <laughs> You're not going to find it. <laughs> Plus everything oaky in one place and discounts you won't believe. We'll show you where when Discover Oklahoma continues. In the land of wonder and awe, you won't believe you see what you saw. Where there's something to do for young and for old, where stories are written and then they're retold. Visit TravelOK.com today. Come see for yourself and come out to play. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the City of Guthrie. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you today from the Oklahoma City Tourism Information Center, a great place for a pit stop if you're on the road. And this time of year, it's a great place to come and get a discount on an Oklahoma-themed gift. Absolutely, and every year the folks here line up a special offer for Discover Oklahoma fans. Tiffany Tatro gives us a peek at what we'll find here. If you're looking for the perfect gift this holiday season, we have you covered right here at the Oklahoma Tourism Information Center. The tree is lit. The ornament's out on display, and the buffalo is dressed in his favorite holiday attire as Christmas takes over the Oklahoma Tourism Information Center. It's just amazing what, what there is in here. The store is stocked with something for everybody on your Christmas list. Clothes for your fashion-loving friends, birdhouses for those who love nature, and delicious locally made fudge for anybody with a sweet tooth. The fudge is made here in, in Bethany, Oklahoma, so just down the road from, from us. Um, and there's a couple of gentlemen that run it and, and we just phone them up and it comes in and it's still warm when we first get it. So, um, and they've got a fantastic range of flavors, um, pumpkin and eggnog for the holidays. So mint, chocolate, cookie. Top sellers from Cat Studio make a return this holiday season with pillows, towels, and glasses. But new this year are Cat Studio pouches, and you'll find them all at a fraction of the price. Oh yeah, the Cat Studio pillows and things like that, we're at 30, 40, 50 dollars cheaper than anywhere else you're gonna find them in Oklahoma. Several other new items can be found this year, like the goat's milk bath soap, and just in time for Christmas, a gorgeous new Oklahoma-themed ornament. It's really pretty. It, it has a picture on it of everything Oklahoman. You've got the buffalo and the Sooner schooner. And while it seems the Oklahoma Tourism Information Center has just about everything, there is something they don't keep in stock. We're trying to get as much Oklahoma-themed things in here, so don't come in here and ask us for Texas-themed stuff. <laughs> You're not going to find it. So for all your holiday attire this Christmas season, remember to keep it local and check out the Oklahoma Tourism Information Center. And it's nice to find something unique to your people at Christmas. You know, something that reflects Oklahoma and there is so much in here. Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. Okay, here's how it works. Black Friday weekend, Friday through Sunday, all shoppers who come in and mention Discover Oklahoma will get 25% off anything purchased. They're open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. Even in the summer when it's 100 degrees, we sell a lot of chili. No matter the weather, they're packing them in at this Tulsa restaurant. We'll take you there when Discover Oklahoma continues. This portion of Discover Oklahoma is brought to you by the Fort Gibson Chamber of Commerce, 
Visit Fort Gibson this holiday season. Want to discover even more about the show? Go online and watch Discover Oklahoma anywhere, anytime. Catch up on missed episodes, track down interesting locations, and submit your own story ideas. Start exploring today at discoveroklahomatv.com. We've really enjoyed doing a little shopping here at the Oklahoma City Tourism Information Center. We have, but right now we're going to actually jump on the turnpike and head to one of Tulsa's favorite places for chili or burgers. Jason Grubbs is going to take us to Ron's. Ron's Hamburgers and Chili has been satisfying customers since 1975. It's excellent, it really is, it's really good. Cooking everything to order. Delicious. We love this place. We love all the cashiers and all the people. Enjoy the food, enjoy the, the companionship. Many of the folks who dine here are regulars. How often you come in here? About once a week. Yeah. Same thing on the menu every time? Yes. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. Like today when I'm in town, I, I come by and get a three-way chili. Ron Baber opened the original location near 15th and Harvard. In 2005, it moved into a new spot, just south of downtown Tulsa. Today, there are 18 locations, and after all these years, it's still family owned. Ron's son Mike says it's the same great burgers, chili and chicken. Ron's secret is the seasoning. You can even buy a bottle of it for your own kitchen. Everything we make pretty much has the seasoning salt in it. It goes on everything we make from the burgers, in the coleslaw, on the fries, in the chicken. Speaking of chicken, one of my favorites is the jalapeno chicken bites. I like to add some ranch dressing to the side of my order. They make that and the honey mustard from scratch. Here at Ron's, everything is fresh. The patties are made fresh every day. The fries cut fresh every day. And that chili is made from scratch, fresh every day. We make it fresh every day, 60 pounds a day. Sometimes in the winter we make two batches. We get our meat from Tulsa Beef every morning. As you can imagine, Ron sells a lot of their award-winning chili, no matter what time of the year. Even in the summer when it's 100 degrees, we sell a lot of chili. Get it as a two-way or three-way. Add jalapeno, onions, or cheese. Or get it on a chili sausage cheeseburger. One of the best-selling burgers is Ron's Special. It's a jumbo bacon cheeseburger with uh, Cure 81 ham. Topped with pepper jack and American cheese. Or try the sausage cheeseburger. It was voted one of the best in Oklahoma. It's hard to choose, especially after finding a favorite. I look at the menu and I think, oh, I should try that. And then I think that looks really good. I look at the other tables. But then when I, I order, I'm like, I just want a three-way. I change it up a little bit, but it usually involves bacon cheese tots. Uh, I'll do the, uh, the cheeseburger steak with onions cooked in. Whatever you order, wash it all down with a big frosted mug of root beer. And that's kind of been a staple since my dad opened. And be prepared for leftovers. Yeah, I always have a take-home box every time. It's at least one more meal out of the whole thing, maybe two. You're not going to leave Ron's hamburgers and chili hungry. Not at all. Not at all. Exactly. Always satisfied. Everything we serve really big. So, yeah, you're not leaving hungry, that's for sure. And that's why we don't serve dessert. In Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. No matter where your next road trip takes you, the new Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to the great folks here at the Oklahoma City Tourism Information Center for hosting us this week. Here's another look at some of the great Oklahoma-themed items you can find here, and a reminder of their special offer for Discover Oklahoma viewers. Come in during Black Friday weekend, mention Discover Oklahoma, and get 25% off your purchase. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, a trip to one of the most historic restaurants in Oklahoma. You'll love what they are serving up here. And a relaxing fall getaway. We'll show you some of the comforts of cabins in southeastern Oklahoma next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.